everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm on site working on this greenhouse here. I am kind of going back and forth between the two of them, but really focusing on getting everything ready to put up the rafters. And you can see a couple of the rafters on either end we put up uh, yesterday, uh, so you can kind of get a feel for the sense of space. Yes, it is pretty tall up in here. Uh, you know, it would have been fine if the greenhouse had been shorter. That's a lot of extra headroom. I, I don't mind the headroom, but the reason uh, that the peak is so high as it is, is because where all the rafters are going to tie in, that is directly in line with uh, where the floor is. Uh, so all the load is going right up into the floor. I was able to uh, lag them right into the uh, floor joists up there. So it was a really strong uh, connection surface. Uh, sloping down, it gives you about a 6-12 uh, pitch, uh, which means that the, uh, the slope of the roof drops six inches for every uh, 12 inches that uh, you know you're traveling out horizontally uh, and I think it's going to shed snow pretty well. I just finished up uh, these uh, two foot uh, center uh, little mini studs up behind you. Uh, that is the last layer that goes on before the rafters go on and what I'm working on right now because uh, my dad's going to be on site tomorrow we're going to get a lot of rafters up. Uh, I think you know, we should fly pretty fast because the, the hangers are already there and just got to notch them and put them in. We might get them all done tomorrow and that'll be pretty cool to see. But uh, what I'm working on prior to that is uh, rigidifying the structure. Like right here behind you, I've got these boards here. Uh, you'll notice that these wall boards are being put on diagonally. Um, I think it looks pretty cool doing it that way. Uh, I think uh, out in the greenhouses I'm doing uh, the walls on the north and south sides, uh, all this 45 degree angle board, but it's not just for aesthetics, it's also making the uh, uh, structure more rigid because I'm creating triangles here, uh, and that's going to really grab uh, that um, uh, that wall as the, the roof load is going to want to kind of push the uh, the wall out that way, that's why like on cathedrals they have buttresses to like hold up the uh, uh, the sides of the cathedral so it doesn't just collapse out. That's where like the force is going and these triangles are going to be grabbing that and trying to pull it back so that we don't have our wall bow out. It's going to be like that here and also over here. The way that I'm doing it is a way that saves a lot of wood so I'm not getting a bunch of scrap. Whenever you're cutting things at 45 degree angles, if I was going to uh, cut this board, uh, which I did, <laughs> and uh, you know I, I get this angle on the end, when I go to put up the next one, what you usually have to do is cut another 45 degree angle right here and you get Get quite a bit of scrap. So what I'm doing is on one side I'm doing it with the tongues facing up and on the other side I'm doing it with the grooves facing up. So when I uh, create a board for this side, which uh, you notice this uh, this profile would match right there, uh, when I cut the other side uh, the scrap from the rest of it, and there won't be much scrap from this one, but if there is a lot of scrap can get flipped around and get used over on the other side. So I have very little scrap because I'm not uh, having to cut out that big triangle every time I do a new course. So that's what I'm working on today. Amber was here today uh, helping with some sanding. Uh, I got a, you know maybe another half hour that I've got left on the day today. And then like I said, tomorrow it's going to be all these rafters. And I think that's really going to be nice to see. It's really going to define the space. And uh, well, I'm just really excited to see it because uh, um, it's going to be cool seeing all the rafters up there. That's it. Thanks for watching.